Lord is not far from him. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. R Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. Fuck you. We don't even know if all the right parts are in there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Fuck the T-Rex. It's your show, girl. I just hope you know what you're doing. Do whatever you want. Just don't fail. Fuck you. That shit fucking killed my frames. What's this? Nothing useful. Wait, read the file. Bring stabler. Make sure the two devices are ready in time for the experiment. Each of these consists of the following three parts. Core parts. Protect part A, protect part B. It means six parts are needed in all. These parts are separately stored in the experiment room. Design room and the part storage room. Once you have acquired all six parts, you can assemble them in the experiment room. The weightless manipulator must be operated by staff of level A class. Let's say don't bother me. What a fucking ass. So, how are things? Don't mind me. Med pack M. Fuck your med pack M. Or. Yeah. Fuck your med pack out. Hmm, what's this over here? Some parts of the devices are on the task. Yeah, it's Dr. Christie. Why you read it? Third energy is the final weapon. Third energy reaction exceeds the critical point and evokes the overload phenomenon. When this happens, you can't control it. The, whole, the huge amount of energy creates reactions and begins to disintegrate the surrounding air. The ensuing explosion will vaporize everything in the near vicinity. We could control the area, but the overload occurs. The third energy will literally become the ultimate weapon. Power the Damn it. Power of the weapon depends on how much energy we can restrain before the explosion occurs. In other words, the capability of the stabilizer is the key to everything. Third energy was supposed to be the project of the development policy. Create the basic power source for the permanently stationed weapon. If we change the policy of the project here and now, the government will be able to obtain the most deadly obstructive weapon in the world. However, our current budget is currently out of the question. You'll find the estimate of the budget in the next chapter. Please review and consider. Absolutely no... God, this place is all fucked up. Huh. So that goes there. What about... Is this the locked one? That is the locked one. Let's go through the one we just unlocked. Next to it. Just blow right past it. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. 
shitty camera angle. What's up? Wait a minute. I are stupid. Hey, asshole. Hey. Hey. Give me your fucking finger. Okay, now that I remember to do that shit. Did I just go to the wrong fucking place? No, I didn't. Okay. Duh. I'm gonna go ahead and make that dude's ID card. Or make an ID card like that dude's ID card. So I can have his ID card. And then I'll pick it up off his corpse. So I'll have two of his ID cards. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. So, what do we got? Three, one, four, one, five. have the status of Dr. Kirk without the annoying personality. Woohoo! Or the dude pointing a gun at my face. I think I have to go in there. Yes, I will save. Uh, indeed, I shall. I shall save. I shall push you. All this shit hidden under shelves and what the f- I have to plug. <laughs> 